Are you having troubles taking off in Kerbal Space Program? How do I do this? Are your ships not flying straight? Ah, no, 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 no. Ah. Are you having troubles really getting anywhere with your spaceship? Why? <laughs> Why? Well then, this is the video for you, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to take off properly, be stable, and have a good rocket ship. Let's dive right into this. This tutorial is going to be for total beginners. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do to follow this tutorial, you're gonna wanna hit start new here. Then you can name your world whatever the frick you want. Then to start, you're gonna wanna put this on sandbox, and you can just hit start here. Now you should be in your world here, and you're just gonna wanna click on this one, vehicle assembly building. Do it. So basically, Basically, your screen is gonna kind of look like this and you might be a little confused and that's okay so basically to start I'm gonna set up a rocket here and you're gonna build the exact same rocket and then we're gonna launch it together and then we're gonna get a little bit crazier so you're really gonna learn this so we're gonna start off just getting the mk1 command pod super simple probably the easiest part and the first thing you're gonna wanna do, and a lot of beginners really don't know this, and it's super important, you're gonna wanna right click on your command module here to start, and you can see all these options here, and where it says auto strut, you're gonna wanna check that, so it says heaviest part. If you're having problems with the rocket being all crazy and like breaking apart, that will freaking save your life. And you're gonna wanna actually do that pretty much to every part you add, like here, let's just add a random part here, I'll just chuck an engine here, I can just right click on that and then enable auto strut to heaviest part so anyways we have our command module here i talked about auto strut now we're gonna talk about something else which is the command and control section and you can see all these weird things and it might look a little bit different on your screen because i do have a mod installed but you're gonna see these wheels maybe some rcs thrusters basically it looks really confusing but the main thing we're gonna look at right here is these advanced line stabilizers they could be at the top if they aren't at the top you can enter in the search here advanced line stabilizer and right here we can see the medium one and you're gonna want to click on this one this is if you're using the mk1 command module you can actually just slide it on there and then auto strut that and basically in real life these are kind of like spinning balls or bearings i don't really know how it works but it basically literally just makes your ship more controllable like that simple in fact if you chuck like a bunch of these on there it'll make it like really really controllable but you only really need one sometimes you don't even need them that's just a really simple way to make your ship more controllable anyways the next point i want to talk about is center of mass now if you have a rocket ship and you want to see your center of mass you're going to want to click on this button right here where it says center of mass overlay just click that and you'll see this random ball in your rocket ship. This is just a stock rocket ship that is in the open section. It's called GLD V3. Anyways, you can see this little sphere here. You're going to want to make sure you have that as low as you possibly can. So if I take these rocket boosters and I move them up here, their center of mass would be higher and the ship would be a lot less controllable. Let's actually try to fly it right here. There you go. I'm just going to take off here and I'm just going to time warp to make this faster. Oh, and what do you know? <laughs> the ship is literally toppling over. And now we're getting these really, really annoying circles and the ship is uncontrollable. That's the worst. And that can be easily fixed just by making your center of mass lower. And this is a ship with the boosters closer to the bottom and the center of mass lower. Let's see how stable this is. You can see that the nav ball is pretty much perfect here. It's wobbling a little bit, but that is very, very good. Also, never put it on time warp when you're taking off. I was just trying to show that the ship is unstable when the center of mass is high and how stable it possibly can be when the center of mass is low. Now, the next thing quickly I do want to talk about is aerodynamics. If your ship is not aerodynamic, it is going to be so so unstable and it's very easy to fix too here i'll give you guys a quick representation so here i got this ship i just quickly made just a command module a fuel tank and an engine and you can see this is the nose cone it's very non-aerodynamic so it's gonna have a lot of air resistance as it tries to take off i also made sure i auto strutted all of the parts here as heaviest part as you can see and i'm on the runway here it's also a very very small ship which are usually very stable but just because it's unaerodynamic it's not gonna work at all watch this now i'm just gonna put this on full throttle and take off and let's see what happens oh it's starting to turn a bit here it's getting a little wonky oh god that is yep this is not a straight flight at all what the heck now all we need to do is chuck a quick nose cone on this that simple we're gonna auto strut it and launch it and let's take off here i'll do a time lapse of this 
Now you can see we're moving as fast and we're as high as we were before and this is perfectly stable. Like this is amazing. Now as we go back to the vehicle assembly building here, I want to show you guys the next thing which is the importance of aerodynamic fins. You can see there's all sorts of bigger ones and smaller ones and different ones and I'm going to explain these a bit. Now basically I'm just going to make a really unstable ship here that's going to be really tall and really thin so the center of gravity is going to be pretty much in the middle, which is not good. I don't think I would ever make a ship that has that, but you can see I got auto strut on everything here. And this time we're gonna make sure we add a nose cone and we're gonna add some of the right fins. It's important that you use the right ones, trust me. So there's all sorts of these different fins here. There's airplane tail fins, all these things with airplane in them, do not use them. Typically for smaller rocket ships like this one, I like to use the Delta Deluxe winglet. You can just click on it and then go to your symmetry thing here. And I usually like to make it four. And we can go on the bottom here, just chuck them down there, put auto strut on them, and we are good to go. Now, before we get into any of the wings, I'm going to show you guys what this is like without any wings or fins, whatever you'd like to call them. You can see I'm on launch right here. I'm just going to go full throttle and take off. Now, you can see we are getting a little wonky with this. And it looks like we are turning, which is already going to affect the height of our hop here i guess you could call it yep this is <laughs> not good <laughs> this is not a stable ship at all usually they're best at the bottom as well because when you want to turn it'll turn like the bottom and really give it a better turn if that makes sense we're just gonna auto strut these and take off and try this there we go three two one and take off i am pretty confident that this will be a lot more stable now you can see we are pretty high up here 3.4 kilometers higher than before and this is pretty much perfectly stable here and it's also very adjustable like it's very easy to do any turns you want and then go back to stable like whatever you want it's way easier with fins now the next thing i want to talk about which is actually very important is a few things you got to do while you're on the launch pad actually now right here i just got a very simple rocket you know four parts just a fuel tank engine command module nose cone just slapped it all on there shouldn't be that stable because our center of mass is pretty much in the middle of here but Let's launch this and I'm going to show you a few things that you can actually do on the launch pad. So you can see we're here right here and we got an option called SAS and RCS. And to enable SAS, you can either click this and click it again to turn it on and off. Or you can just hit T on your keyboard. That works too. And you can see once I enable it, we firstly get all these options here, which is a bit more complex. I'll probably cover these in another video. But that literally just makes it more stable. Like that simple you just hit t on your keyboard and it's more stable and another thing you can do is rcs which you can hit and that's another thing that is a little bit more complex though because once you hit it you can see if i hit d or a to move right or left there's these little rocket boosts that come out and uh you got a mono propellant thing in the top right here if you hover over this fuel tank you can see that that goes down so if you have like a huge ship in space you can use rcs to help you move around and stay more stable as well if you need it but you do need to be using a command module that has rcs rockets in them the mk3 command module that i'm using here actually has that anyways now that i got all of that out of the way we're gonna build a very small super stable rocket right now here's a very quick representation i'm just gonna take off here we got these extra support from the boosters now as we go up here you can see this is still perfectly straight this is a very good rocket and uh, the boosters probably helped with the stability because it lowered the center of mass even more now we can decouple the command module if we want and uh, we're good to land here once we're ready and guys that is how you launch a rocket in Kerbal space program for complete beginners anyways it has been mun man and i am launching out is that good flying out yeah <laughs>